Speaking of honest opinions, I want to tell you about my experience. Woo! Let's go check it out. What's going on, you guys? Look, I know it's been a while. We haven't. This is becoming too regular, okay? We need to be consistent with shooting content, uploading content for you guys, and all of that. But it's been pretty busy, you know, got a lot of stuff going on with work. And someone hit the Tesla. That's another story. We're not about to talk about it now, but I'm getting ready, you know? Gotta shoot some content today. I thought, you know, while I get ready, Let's talk, okay? But let me tell y'all something. <laughs> a lot of people have been commenting on our video about the HVAC scent diffuser that we got from Hotel Collection, and they've been frying the Hotel Collection. Yo, Hotel Collection. I'm gonna need y'all to have bit better business practices because I don't know what y'all got going on. I don't know what's going on with your other products. <laughs> But I can't even talk about what we got going on in peace because you have a lot of stuff going on. So please address all these people's concerns because it's very concerning that a lot of people are having these issues. OK, I always say this. I like to say this. Hotel Collection Aroma 360 is not paying me for any videos that I make. So feel free to comment how you feel. And, you know, even tag them as well so they're able to gain an understanding of what's going on so they can better serve people because I believe they have a great product. But anyway, I'm going to show you what we got. Let me floss my teeth because that's important, okay? Focus on your oral health. That's very, very important. Don't want to be talking to you and your breath smell bad. Mm -mm. No. Nah. <laughs> so, like I said, y'all, it was a lot going on. Someone hit the Tesla from behind. Um, we'll talk about that in another video because we got to get in depth because y'all already know if you've seen our last like five videos I'll keep saying it. these Florida drivers are terrible and we all knew eventually Something was gonna happen, but another conversation, you know long ago We purchased an HVAC scent diffuser because we wanted to stop buying candles so much we were buying candles like every week because we were constantly burning them in the house and we just love our house to smell a certain way. And we wanted to find another way to keep the house smelling good, smelling luxurious, especially when you go to these hotels and they just smell the same. They smell so good. We wanted that same effect. It's funny. We actually ran across an ad for hotel collection and we saw that they had scent diffusers. We didn't even know they had HVAC scent diffusers, so we ended up going for the gusto. Not really the gusto, but we ended up getting the presidential scent diffuser through Hotel Collection. It's also the Museum 360 for Aroma 360. Aroma 360 and Hotel Collection, they're basically similar. They have all the same products. So whoever you get it from, they got the same prices. The scent oils are a bit different, but it's pretty much the same. And yeah, you know, when we first got it, it was amazing. You know what I'm saying? No issues at all. Some of our favorite scents, My Way and 24K Magic. A lot of folks has been telling us to try Dream On. So that's our next scent that we're going to try. But today is the day that I do routine maintenance on our HVAC system. So not our HVAC system, but our HVAC scent diffuser. What better time? to do a video doing maintenance on it. I'm gonna show you everything. I'm gonna show you how it was installed. And I do hear and see everybody's comments. I hear what people are saying as well about hotel collection products through YouTube and through TikTok. And hey, you guys are having some interesting issues. And I'm sorry that a lot of you guys have felt like that. You know what I'm saying? My experience has been different. But I will say, from looking at all of the reviews and looking at the YouTube videos and looking at the TikTok videos outside of people, the influencers that are promoting it, right? I probably wouldn't have purchased their products because it's just really bad and I don't want to promote something that is getting a lot of flack. But I can tell you about my experience and my experience has been very good. Our experience has been very good. Like, it smells amazing in the house now. 
but I will tell you some great things about it and I will tell you some of its flaws as well. On top of telling you about the installation and I'm going to show you how I do my routine maintenance, I'm also going to show you how to set up the HVAC diffuser. A lot of people hit me up on the comments and were asking, yo, how do you set it up? I'm trying to get mine to scent and it's not scenting. I need some help and probably because your your setup is probably incorrect hopefully you can follow what i have here i also put it in the description as well so that you can be able to follow that and kind of go from there let's get started but let me put on a shirt okay I'm pretty sure you're not trying to see all of this and plus my wife doesn't approve <laughs> let me show you our hvac not our hvac but the scent diffuser so you guys can check it out so i am going to unplug the scent diffuser for just a moment because it does make a little bit of a rumbling sound not because it's bad it's because it just makes a sound you know but i don't want us to disturb us all right let me show you guys the scent diffuser so here is the it says aroma 360 but like i said aroma 360 and hotel collection are pretty much the same you know we ordered from hotel collection but when we got our product it was aroma 360 so Again, presidential HVAC scent diffuser. Shout out to Alfie, our handyman. He actually helped us out and got this situated and got this thing installed. He even went ahead and nailed it to the bottom of our actual HVAC unit, or at least the, the base of it, which was super dope instead of putting it on the side of the walls because it was a little tight. You will need an outlet in your HVAC closet. So wherever your HVAC system is, make sure you have an outlet because your HVAC scent unit needs to plug into here. So what he did, he actually ran ours from the ceiling. So he gave us power so we could be able to power in here. Our scent tube, which connects to the scent container where we put our scent liquid in. And this tube connects to our HVAC duct. What you'll need to do is you want to go ahead and connect your tube to the actual system that's holding your uh, scent and then you'll take that tube and poke a hole in your air duct and you want to poke your tube into that hole and then you want to seal it with some caulk or whatever these maintenance folks know. So definitely do that and what's going to happen when you plug it in you're going to hear this sound. And you can actually hear the liquid in there shaking, it being sucked into the tube, pushed into the HVAC unit, and then you can smell it. One thing I will say is, you ready for this? Your scent unit is not going to, okay, how should I say this? You have to turn on the air for your scent to actually scent your home, okay? This is the HVAC scent diffuser, okay? This is not like the other ones, not like the table scents, I mean the, the table units or whatever the case. You have to turn the fan on or turn the air on in your home so you can be able to smell your scent. I just want to say that because in the beginning when we hooked ours up and it was starting like this, I didn't smell anything and I got really worried and I was about to send it back. But it's because I didn't turn the air on. You have to turn the air on, okay? That's one of the things I don't really like, but I guess it makes sense, right? Because how else would it just come through the vents? So the only way for it to come through the vents is to turn the fan or air on. And we're in Florida, and we always got the fan, and we always got the air on, all right? So this right here is 24K Magic, but it has alcohol in it. It's not the actual scent. And this is the actual alcohol we used before to actually clean our scent unit, you know, just to go ahead and do some type of, uh, you know, just use the same alcohol that we used before. This is not the scent, y'all, but I just wanted to get you guys hip so you guys can see this. And if you want to purchase this, for those of you guys that already purchased Hotel Collection or Aroma 360 products. You can go ahead and get this. It smells very good. Dream On seems to take the cake. I know a lot of people talk about My Way, but there's a lot of folks who's also talked about Dream On too. So check those out, okay? So yeah, all right. We clean our scent unit every three months. It's recommended by Hotel Collection. So for any of your systems, you wanna upkeep them, make sure they still work. Make sure you go ahead and maintain them because this unit was expensive. I don't wanna buy another one. So we want to go ahead and make sure it's maintained that we're doing the right things. Now, they ask for alcohol. They say industrial alcohol, but it's gotta be the same thing, right? Right, right? I told you this is going to be a great time to be able to shoot this content, talk to you guys about the HVAC unit, and also show you how I'm actually maintaining it. So, 
Come check it out, all right? So I did talk a little bit about the install process. There's a little tube here, which connects to our actually sensing, sensing system and it goes to the tube unit where all the liquid is. And you're gonna connect the little tube to the main system and then to the tube unit so that the actual main system can blow air. I think there's an actual unit piece inside of here, which I'll show you. So go ahead and open this up. Something else too. You might want to unplug while you're doing this. All right, I don't know if you guys can see inside. Can you see inside? Not really, but. Woo! Mm, smells so good. But obviously, we've done this several times, and we have these little jars we use to actually hold our hold our scents while we're replacing it. And something else I want to say. While I'm I'm pouring this, okay? Because y'all probably like, there ain't no scent in here. Let me explain something. Let me explain something about me, okay? I got this HVAC scenting unit for, I think, $954. It's like a thousand plus right now, okay? I wait for discount, so we need more scents, but I'm about to wait until it's like 50% off to buy more scents. I'm not going to do the 25%. I'm not going to do the 30%. Hotel collection and aroma 360 always has discounts wait for the discount stop buying stuff that you don't have to be buying for regular price don't do it wait for the discounts so that's the reason why we may have a little bit of scent right now i'm about to buy more this is perfectly fine and scenting the house we're good <laughs> anyway all right so after you pour this in here you want to go ahead and pour your alcohol remember this has alcohol in it we're just reusing it and then we're going to put some more inside so this is what you would do with a regular, um, oops, what was I thinking? Hold on, y'all. This has been filled up with alcohol. We're going to go ahead and clean it. And you can see I'm going to put it back into the unit, plug it in. I'm going to let it run for 15 minutes. Um, during that time, we're going to come down here and I'm going to show you our actual setup. Our actual setup is a little funky right now. I am going to change it. Just too lazy to do it. I'm going to show you guys some of the things that's on here. So maybe it can help people that have some questions about how to set up this unit. All right. Once you plug it in, it will start to scent. And this will actually help clean the diffuser. So yeah, let me go ahead and turn the fan on. We're going to run this fan for 15 minutes. That'll help out. Actually, let's let it finish scenting, doing this thing, and then we'll come back and we'll look at how to set up the diffuser, okay? So in the setting of the HVAC system, there's this thing called work, and there's this thing called pause, okay? Work, that means the scenting is working. Like, right now, I smell the alcohol coming through the vents, which is, woo, woo, that, that might be too much. I need to lower it. Those are the basically the two main ones. There's volume. You want to keep your volume at 500. And then there's another side thing. I can't remember what it's called. I think it's called liquid or something else. But that just states how much liquid did you have in the tube. And it, y'all, it smells amazing. In the, it smells amazing. Listen, whether you go with hotel collection or not, I think I highly recommend that you get an HVAC scent diffuser, especially if you have, you know, like, a, you know, a good size home. You know, if you have a town home or if you live in an apartment, obviously, excuse me. Obviously, don't get the HVAC scent diffuser. That makes no sense. Get the, you know, the actual, the table scent. But if you have a home, get the scent diffuser because it's amazing and you save cost on candles. And if you're anything like me, or you're a parent like me, kids are just curious and I don't know, they just find ways to climb on top of things. You know, you it prevents you from having anxiety about your kids messing with the candles. So I highly recommend it. A lot of people got a lot of issues about hotel collection. So if you have reservations about that, go with another company like Magic Scent if they have one or whatever other company. I don't know. I know Magic Scent and I know Hotel Collection. If you're in the house all the time, you probably won't smell it because you're just here, right? But when you leave and you come back home, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It is so, it smells so good. Like right now, it smells amazing. And that's the alcohol. The alcohol is actually pushing the, I don't know what's going on, but it smells really good. But hotel collection, I will say this, you got to get your act together, okay? Um, for real. Like, figure out what's going on. A lot of people have stated issues about what you guys got going on and the products or whatever the case. You want this stuff to work, figure it out. 
I think that's very, very important, especially me as a consumer and especially me also as a person that has a platform. You know, when you sell a product, essentially promoting the product, you want people to have good things to say about this product. I don't want people in my comments talking about how bad the product is, right? And it's more people than none. So I don't know, right? So this, let's figure it out for everybody. However, I'm going to tell y'all, I have had a beautiful experience. I don't know what's going on with some of you guys and some of the products because I'm looking at... The reason why my eyes look different, I just want to state that is because there's, there's the screen and there's the camera. So I'm supposed to be looking at you and not the screen. But I need to see if I have a booger in my nose or if I have gray hair that I need to snatch off before I continue recording. So you feel me? Thank you. Has it been 15 minutes yet? No, it hasn't. While we're waiting, me and Zayna and Ace, you know, now he's big enough to you know, be on the screen and say episode one, Waitum's Insight. We want to take the time and say thank you guys so much for this ride, man. You, you guys have been with us since 2019. Some, some of you guys just joined our channel. Definitely watch our older videos and see how far we've come. You know, the quality has been different. The vibes are, are, are definitely the same, but we're about to take it up another notch, you know? We got a lot of trips coming up. DR, Cabo, going back to the DMV in August. You know, again, August is like a great month for us because we have our anniversary and Zayna's birthday. And we're looking to purchase some real estate. And we're bringing you guys along the way, along the journey of us doing all of this groundwork. So I definitely just want to take the time, man, and just, just really extend my gratitude and say thank you. Thank you. Because you don't have to follow us. You don't have to communicate with us. But you do. And we really, really appreciate it. Every time somebody subscribes, every time someone comments and likes, every time you guys view it, it keeps us encouraged. It keeps us so encouraged, man. Like, you guys don't know what you do for us creators, especially on YouTube, because YouTube is tough, man. It's tough, and then sometimes when we put videos out and it doesn't have any views or whatever the case, like, it could be discouraging. And the people that really make it are the ones that are consistent no matter what is going on. You know, we were gone for about six months, and you guys still came back, watched our channel. I know we're putting out a lot of shorts, you know what I'm saying, but... You guys um, have been truly amazing, and I just want to thank you. And don't cry. Don't cry. Don't even cry, okay? But if, I mean, you can shed a tear or two, but make sure you have some tissue around you. I ain't gonna cry. But don't you cry either, okay? This ain't no farewell. This is just, I'm just saying thank you, okay? Yep, you better stop that nonsense. I'm about to stop talking to y'all, okay? <laughs> Continue to follow this channel. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. There's a lot of great things that's gonna be coming up. And, you know, once my job frees me just a little bit, and things kind of slow down with everything that we have going on outside of content creation, other stuff, Tesla. We will be back at it, posting every week. Boom, 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 boom. Not missing a beat, okay? Yeah, and then on top of that, let us know what you guys want to see. I know some folks talked about the greenhouse. We'll talk about that, okay? We got some game on that, okay? We're going to tell you what's going on, you feel me? And then, you know, others want to talk about the Cybertruck. Cybertruck is coming. We're waiting on it. It's a lot of great things coming. And I want to talk about more of our journey of how we got somewhere rather than just giving you guys like, hey, we got a house. Nah, let's talk about the journey. Let's talk about the things it took or what we did to get to the next level. Because I think that is content of substance, substance that is needed to help, you know, encourage somebody or give somebody or inspire somebody to kind of take bits and pieces of what we did and make it their own so they can grow and take things to a new level. Yeah, and get on fan base as well. I'm on fan base. I'm on Instagram too and TikTok, but I'm slowly getting away from Instagram and TikTok and just focusing on YouTube and fan base as well. So enough of the softness, right? You want to you wanna check? You want to go back? Let's do that. Oh, it's 305. I got a meeting at 310, that's why. Actually, let me do my meeting and we're going to... We'll, Look at the setup afterwards. <laughs> Y'all yeah, trip. All right, meeting is over. 15 minutes is done. And it's time to put our scent back in the scent unit. See what I'm talking about? But I'm gonna go ahead and unplug this first. All right, unscrew this right here. Let's see if I got steady hands. So this is my first time actually reusing alcohol. So I don't know how long to reuse the alcohol, but I'll probably reuse it maybe twice. Put my scent back in there. Remember, 
purchase your products on sale. And that goes for anything too. Don't try to pay full price for it. Go on the website, just watch, see what they do, see what their cadence are. Um, holidays, we got a holiday coming up, so they'll have discounts. So if you can hold off for a few weeks to a month, you'll be able to get a discount. That's my tip to you. I'm gonna go ahead and put this back in. My maintenance is done, okay? <sighs> Smells so good. All right, now I'm gonna run through our setup real quick. I'm not gonna go too in depth just because I'm gonna put a link in the description and just check that link out. It's gonna tell you everything you need to know, how you're supposed to set up, what buttons you're supposed to press. But I do wanna show you what we have done and how it's too strong. I need to cut it down and I'll show you that too because I want to cut my scent down is too high. You're going to realize even our setup might be too strong for your house or it might be too little for your house. So you're going to have to increase certain things and you're just going to have to play with it to figure out what's going to work best for you. But at least if I can give you the basics, it could help you out, right? All right, let's go check it out. Disclaimer, the scent is going to go off. We're just going to work through it, but it goes off every 110 seconds but it's sense for 60 seconds and I'll show you what we did there, all right? So let me see if you guys can see. Can you guys see what's going on? Okay, here's the HVAC scent diffuser. You can see up top, it says pause. So right now it's pause, it's not scenting, it's just sitting and it's saying that uh, for our current setup, we can have this up to 25 days. It changes as you mess with the settings but this says 25 days for us. So I'm gonna go ahead. There's a bunch of buttons here. So there's up, down, mood, and set. I mean mode, excuse me, not mood, but mode. So let's click on mode. And mode basically tells you, okay, this is event one and it starts at 8 a.m. So we only have one event. We use the same event for all of the specific days. So let's go back to it. Let's click mode again. This tells us when this event is gonna turn off. So events are basically like, sessions right so you're basically saying session one let's go back to it session one when we turn it on we want it on at 8 a.m and we want it off at 8 p.m right this is called work for event one which is our session we want that session to be 60 seconds so sent for 60 seconds pause for 110 seconds so you can change yours as you see fit we used to have it at 90 like scenting for 90 seconds but that was a little bit too long. In the guide that I put in the description, it will say the same thing. Now, when you continue to click on mode, it'll take you to other events where you can set up, which is what I'm gonna actually get into when I reset it up when we get new scents because I don't believe it should be on 12 hours a day, which is kind of crazy, but it is what it is. All right, so, that went through, so when you click on mode, think of it as going through sessions, okay? Again, on means what time you want it on. Off means what time you want it off. Uh, you have your work, how long you want your scent to work, which is in seconds. Pause, how long do you want it to pause for, which is in seconds. And it gets to the other events where you can go ahead and do the same as well. Okay, now let's go to set. So set, we're setting the time. Today, right now, it's 3.37, so we're going to keep that. That's correct. You know, that's the hour. We're going to keep the minutes right. Um, and then now you start going to the specific days. If you want that day, you press up. If you don't want it, you press down. Uh, you know, simple as that. Just keep going from there. So the volume. The volume right now says 290. I actually decreased it because we only have a little bit of scent inside of our scent unit. Sorry, you guys, I told you this is going to keep going, but usually you want to keep this at 500 because that's the amount, that's the real volume that you have in your actual scent bottle, okay? Here, this is your scent level. So right now we're saying the liquid inside of this bottle here is 218 per calculation, you know, from this actual diffuser system, but you don't have to make any changes to level because it will calculate the level for you. Now. This is what I mean that it was scenting too hard. It's actually still scenting too hard. And this you see is, is called milliliter per hour, right? I like to put ours at 0.5 because we don't want it to be booming in the house, but we like that faint scent. 
So when you come in, you can smell it, but it's not it's just not overbearing, right? Two was a lot, but 0.5 is good. One is good. 1.5 is good. So definitely do that. And when you do that, right, what happens is it actually increases your days. So I don't know if you guys can see it. It says 102 days now. But before, it was at 28 days. And that's just from changing how much it pulls when it scents, right? So 0.5 is good for us. I'll probably do one, to be honest, just because there's not a lot of scent in the tube. And once you click set, now your work is pretty much done. We'll end up configuring separate events. It's going to be separate sessions because we want our scenting to, to turn on on different times instead of it being from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. We'll do 8 a.m. to, let's say, 12 p.m. Then it won't scent anymore until 2 p.m. But that's going to require you to have two separate events because you're breaking up the hours and it has no way to do it from one event. So the next time we set this up, which is probably going to be after Memorial Day when we get some new scents, we'll actually go ahead and configure it that way. Again, the instructions that I put in the description below is going to definitely help you out. And anybody looking into getting any type of scent diffuser, definitely do that. Especially if you have a home and you want the HVAC diffuser, I highly recommend that you get that. I think that is cool. Again, if you're scared about the hotel collection, look up other companies. You know what I'm saying? They don't pay me. So I'm not going to sit here and promote them and say this is this and this is that. And I like to give my honest opinion too. Now, speaking of honest opinions, I want to tell you about my experience. My experience has been good, but we have run into a few issues. One of our issues that we ran into that when our scent inside the scent tube is halfway like it is now, you barely smell it in the house. And it requires you to do the maintenance. And once you finish the maintenance, all of a sudden it pulls and you're able to smell it around the house. Not too sure what's going on. Ooh, I smell it now, right? But that happens. So anybody that's not really smelling their scents, go to your scent diffuser, look at the tube and see how low, you know, see how much liquid you have in there. See, much, see how much scent liquid you have in there. And if you don't, if it's not close to the top, you're barely going to smell it. And that's just how the system is. They do need to improve that from that aspect. Another thing from Hotel Collection, I think that the tube that's actually pulling the scent in, the actual suction needs to come from the bottom and not the top. So everybody that has this presidential HVAC system, the suction is all the way at the top. It's not, from, it's not at the bottom, which is super weird. So I think from a technology standpoint, they have to go ahead and fix that and improve that. So if they have an HVAC presidential scenting 2.0, I'll probably look into that just because it'll probably be a better system uh, to have. Now, the way they can do it so people who already have this their, their first system do not have to purchase another system is just to give us a different unit so that we can replace the, you know, the unit that actually holds the two, replace that unit so that we can connect that and kind of go from there. So Hotel Collection, I hope you're hearing me. And anybody from the company, if you see this video, definitely contact me. I'd love to work with you and see how we can improve this thing so everybody can be happy because that's what I want out of this. You know what I'm saying? I really don't care about anything else. I just want people to be able to experience the same things that I'm experiencing and I'm curious. So when something doesn't work or something's not working as I thought it was going to work, I go ahead and like troubleshoot and do a whole bunch of stuff before I just say, you suck, which is not what I'm trying to do. Right. But other than that, our experience has been amazing. People come to our house all the time and say, you guys, the house smells amazing. Even when we go out, people are like, some folks smell so good. And we just tell them that, yeah, we have this luxury HVAC scent system in our house and it just has our whole house smelling good and that's probably us. At the end of the day, if you're looking for something like that, check it out. Do your research. Two companies I know of is Hotel Collection, same as Aroma360, and also Magic Scent. So check out both of those companies. If there's any others, definitely get some people hip in the description below. To everybody that's been asking all of these questions, I hope this really helped out. If there's anything that I need to just like reshoot or whatever, like bring out again, definitely let me know. I'll make a short video to go ahead and clear up your question. Sorry for the delay on the videos. It's just been crazy when we caught the flu, then 
car accident. It, it's just been a lot. So appreciate you guys. Subscribe to this channel. 70% of y'all that come to the channel don't subscribe, which is so crazy. Like we got so many people that view this channel, but 70% of y'all don't subscribe, which is crazy to me. So it's all good. If we pop up, you know, somewhere on your feed again, check us out. And if you enjoy the content, definitely subscribe. You know what I'm saying? So look, we appreciate you guys for tuning in. Well, I appreciate you guys for tuning in. Make sure you like, subscribe, and turn that post notification on. And any comment, we do comment back. It might take us a while sometimes, but we do comment back. All right. And you know that heat is coming. That heat is coming. Yeah, dig.